welcome back. In my last video, I made the kind of rush decision to tear out our shower and turn that space into a utility room. We have gone back and forth about turning the room next door to me here, the downstairs bathroom, into a utility room. So I know I've said we're gonna leave it, we're gonna extend, we're gonna be knocking it down soon, but in reality, that might still be another six months to a year away. And I want it now, <laughs> want it now. So I'm gonna do it now. So we took the shower screen and tray out. There was no going back. This is part two, turning it into our utility room. Shower, shower tray and pipes are gone. Obviously, this one we will need to reconnect up and kind of divert it around that way this time. And then we're hoping to also put our um, tumble dryer washing machine through that waste too. Now, not sure if this is gonna work, but as I said in my previous video, we have this floor down in the shed, we have spare. And I'm hoping, upon hope, that I can get this up back to this level here so that I can relay some floor just for this section. Um, I will need to put in some concrete into some of these little holes um, just to even the floor a little bit. My only concern is that I'm pretty sure this floor goes back under this paneling which I really just don't want to take off. We'll make it just the job will start spreading. I mean honestly like they always do but at the moment it's going quite well and it's going quite swiftly and quite quickly so let's see if I can get up this floor I'm actually thrilled with that in so many ways that was way easier than I thought we had glued them together so that's why they weren't so easy to get back out but this is looking fine, absolutely fine. You can definitely get a board back in there, something to be perfect, but with a bit of glue, that'll be honky dory. And yeah, now I just need to, as I mentioned earlier, level the floor, get the underlay back down, and the floor can go down. Well, it looks like I've just made a mess since. Um, but last night after I finished, um, I filled the holes and they had to just wait for at least 24 hours. So I was like, I'll reroute or the piping. So we started putting this through and then I was like, did you remember the washer dryer? So um, I am gonna point out, we do have a bit of an S drain, which isn't ideal, um, but it's what we had. So we're using what we have at the moment. If we have issues with it, then we will change. I'm not really sure, but Ollie told me that they can like make it a bit smelly, you know, when like the water comes back round. So, that's not gonna be great. We're gonna see how it goes. He seems to think the way that he's done it and connected it to the different items, it won't do that because it's something to do with the sink and the sink isn't in the S strain. Anyway, we'll see. Today I'm moving on to the flooring. Need to tidy this up and get the underlay down. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown New underlay is cut. I now just need to tape it down, make sure it's all really tight where it needs to be. For example, like here, but not so much worry at the back. Man, my floor looks so much neater and tidier now. And that's the space that we're gaining. Kind of insane. I'm really starting to get in interested in playing this. It's utility room date night. We're ordering takeout. We've got the music on. The pup's bringing all his toys in. <laughs> <laughs> we really want to get the floor done tonight because tomorrow we want to start painting. And so, yeah, we're going to get that done. Too far that way. Yeah. 
we can't move it here now, but I don't think we can worry about that. It's going really well and Ollie's really enjoying it. I think I could really like flooring if it was with decent quality flooring. Unfortunately, this stuff's really cheap and nasty. Oh dear. It's going to be late today, but what it looks like in the morning? Who knows? Who knows? And Ollie does not care. <laughs> Actually, from here, it looks fine. We're leaving the gap at the end because uh, the washer dryer is only being able to come to here anyway. And <laughs> this I hate cheap flooring. Mr. Perfectionist has been, well, let's just say one of us has been having a tantrum. <laughs> this one, this one is even slow down. But we've agreed we're not going to talk about that. That is the first time. I know. Um, I think. Got a gap over there as well. Yeah, we don't need to mention all the gaps because, quite frankly, from here back to where we took the other one out, there are gaps. Anyway, flooring's down. Let's get on to the next thing. I feel like a little bit of a child today. I'm going to get on with painting, but first I need to do a little bit of magical mixing. Um, we obviously, because I'm not trying to spend any money, we don't really have any paint that's like a full tin. And I don't know how much we're going to need. So we're going to mix up a bespoke colour. So I've got the Benjamin Moore. I think this is like a pewter colour that we use on the wardrobes upstairs. So that would be really brilliant for the woodwork in there. And then we've also got a slate lime by Little Green. I can't even remember using this. I don't know whether we started using this and we just like weren't impressed. So there's that. But that, that would mean this one is a really good one to use up. And mm, I don't know, maybe half quarter in there maybe more than half in there so i'm hoping maybe with a bit of that and a bit of that and also potentially some white ideally i want to stick with the same brand but that might not be possible kind of exciting like what color will come out on the walls we have no idea so these are the two colors i know this isn't ideal but i feel like with that in there i've really got a full pot maybe a little teeny bit of white i'm going to use this stick to really mix them and then I might put the lid back on that one and try and shake it just to mix out really well. I'm afraid that was the only footage I got of the painting. My mum came to help, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, and we were just chatting away, enjoying, um, and I got like a little bit of hand, I think, nearing the end. But it is painted as you can see ollie is in there let me show you the paint so this is wonko honestly it's quite hard to tell the difference between what it was in this door and what it is now but considering i'm really pleased with the paint color um needs another coat needs a bit of tidying but all around here is done so it's literally apart from the ceiling all the same color now and i'm really loving that i actually like that there's not much difference all has just been filling some holes which I didn't have time to do. So next up I'm cooking dinner and um, throwing it to burn but all it's going to take down shower. the shower which is a bit nervous about because you know I don't want them to get electrocuted but it's off. It's off. No electricity. Yeah. I'll get the little Tester. <laughs> <laughs> like Makes it sound really safe and professional that though. Oh uh, the yeah. <laughs> the vault meter. I knew exactly what you meant. <laughs> You've got a little audience here. We had to put his um travel bed up because he was coming right in here with the paint going. Getting his nose all in it. Um he's been a sweetheart watching today. I need a large bit on the drill to get this off the walls. So we've got on some quite large screws and before doing anything else I'm going to go get some electrical tape and seal off those and tuck them off so that they're safe even though that's off just to be double safe. So electrics are all off but we've still got the water, cold water line attached here which I can't remember 
There are a couple of holes in there and they've got little stopcock things in so we could turn them off but I'm pretty sure that is to do with the toilet and the, the sink in the toilet. I wonder if I turn off the main water line whether if I take this off hopefully there won't be any pressure in the system which means it will come out. I don't know, it's a bit risky but difficult one. Um, uh, it's actually 8 o'clock, so I think we're going to call it quits on this one tonight and pick up tomorrow. It is over to Ollie now and he has been doing the most fabulous job. He has taken off the radiator, so we've got this little fence so that Otto can't get in here and grab anything. Um, the radiator was here, hence the nice cobweb. We're moving it here so that it's not under the worktop and I'm hoping to get like a clothes dryer to go on top of it, just here. And then, as you can probably see, he's been doing the electrics. So we now have a point for the washer dryer, another point for if potentially in the future we're wondering whether we might have more freezer space in here, so an under counter freezer. And then we've also got one on top of the counter space for anything that we might need. We now have no shower. However, <laughs> we do have a tile. We've decided that we're just going to literally pinch one from the bottom that you won't see because I'll be underneath um, all of the cabinets and stuff. Well, washer dryer. So we're going to pop that one back up there and we'll have to try and grout it, which will be a bit of a pain. It all needs a good clean off. You can just see here where the shower has been, um, but all of those holes are filled. But one of the biggest, biggest bonuses to also doing this little project is that we had our microwave here, which you guys may know, but there was never any power over here. So every time we wanted to use a microwave, which wasn't that regularly, but we had this leaning over here with an extension lead going all the way over there to on top of our bin, which would always be annoying if for some reason you needed to like use the grill at the same time, it just like wasn't possible. So now, look at this. I'm just cleaning this bit up so that it can go back. The tumble dryer is plugged in. And now we can actually see the space that we're gonna have in here, which is really nice because we can kind of like visualize. We need to know because we need to know. Um, Ollie tomorrow is gonna make the worktop and we want the worktop to come out, don't we? Yep. Further than the washer tumble dryer, which looking at that should definitely still be within this bit here. Yeah by quite a bit actually, which is nice. Yeah, I'm half wondering whether we just make it that wide. That wide, that yeah. It'll be, it'll be particularly deep, but if you're just chucking laundry or stuff on top, then it's all like, ah, oh, you know, okay, get back in. <laughs> this is the only issue we're doing. No renovation with. Drop it. He likes the low rail. <laughs> anyway, it's in. Literally, load of washing just out. And the washing machine is in. Oh so, we have power, which we um, do. Ola's saying that the fitting, which you can see there, was perfect. Just what we needed. Which, I mean, thank God we never got rid of that. Well, let's see if it actually runs yet, because okay. I did, I turned the tap on and I didn't feel like it, normally when you turn it on it goes yeah. and the pipe like pressurises, but uh, we could just do, yeah, we've got like a rinse, rinse and spin, don't we? Come on, please. That is rinse and spin, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Whole family are here watching. Oh, I heard something then. That didn't sound great. Is that just going out the back? Oh no, that feels like there's water coming through. No. Yeah. Was it actually that easy? Yeah, it's filling up. Oh. Done. We have had a very unusual day today. It's very rare that I leave the house and Ollie is at home on his own with Otto doing things, but it's so nice because I get to come back and he's done loads of work. It's really exciting. Let me show you. 
should have left the camera with him, um, but the worktop is in. He's done this amazing, um, he just says, he's taken some footage on his phone. He's done like a ladder underneath. We're gonna have um, some legs just to give it extra support. These still need to be moved forward just a little bit to be able to access them, but he is doing, doing something here where it's gonna be like, basically like that coming over the top but yeah look look what good job he's done oh, like this bit here i'm actually so impressed i'm kind of impressed as well like i didn't think it was going to do you know really weird so nothing is straight in this house nothing mm. those two walls yeah perfectly parallel yeah dun 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 an actual utility room with space for Oh yeah, Ollie was very impressed by this. He was like, it can take a lot of weight. Dreamy, absolutely dreamy. Mm. I'm sorry to think I may have rushed into this just a little bit and also should have communicated a bit better with Ollie yesterday. Oh my gosh, he's done such a fabulous job and he's been working so hard on the laundry room. But today my task was get the fabric for the little skirt and um, get all the attachments. In my head, I was thinking of doing little eyelets and like a wire, but then I went to Dunelm and honestly, I saw them up there. They're like where the netting section is and they're just gonna be impossible to swipe back and forth. I'm all for things looking cute, but when you're using something day in, day out, like the reason that we've moved this utility room from the little nook into here is to make it more usable. I don't want to have bunching fabric every time. So my plan was that it would go behind the little drop down area. In my head, why I would run underneath here and this is where the fabric would go. But dear Ollie has made this so that it can withstand, literally like you saw last night, him standing on it. And so we have wood right behind here going all the way along. Um, so there's nowhere to hide the fabric. There's nowhere under here to hide the fabric. And this is made, he's done this like beautiful little curved edge on here. I obviously kind of don't have the heart to tell him, nor to be like, I don't know how this is going to work, but I don't know how this is going to work. My other idea was, well, can we just take off this little bit here after the curved edge? and make this a bit longer to put the little rail or something behind. But this is so close to it. We don't, we don't have the space to make it longer. I'm not even sure if this is gonna work. I was thinking about a track on the top, potentially, but to do a track, I'd have to properly make curtains. And honestly, that's just like a step too far for this project. And then I looked at curtains, specifically in Donal, because they do some amazing press curtains. But for the length that we need, it would be like nearly £100. You guys know I'm trying to stick to a budget with this. So, this is what I picked up. Picked up a pretty small brass um, rod. Basically a kaizen pole, but it doesn't come with anything else. But that's only 19 millimetres, so it's like a really skinny one. I've got two brackets, so this, this fits with it for either end. And then, this is where I'm like, oh no. I was hoping that this would look really like polished and beautiful. But I got these rings, which are rings with clips. So it means that I didn't have to buy the expense of like buying curtains. I could just get either fabric by the meter and just really simply stick it on there. Or like I've done, so I've got two packs of those. I went for these royal panels. I really like this kind of like more rustic material look. They've got a jagged edge on them. I picked up two, they were £16 each, so they weren't like super expensive, um, but they're only 122 in length and I need 90 in length, so I'm not actually wasting and cutting off too much for these. I don't know, I have a horrible feeling that this is just going to look horrific, but I'm not quite sure what else to do. Um, I'm a little bit tired at the moment, so I feel like my brain just isn't problem solving, and maybe you guys are screaming at me being like, just do this. But yeah, I don't know. But I did think that the, this, seeing as you're going to have to see it, this could look quite cute. But also, 
could be a bit gappy. But you could still see the top of the washer dryer all the time. Um, I've obviously kept the receipts for all of these and thought I'm not going to be like cutting this or opening any of this until I make a good decision. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with a place to lean. In the moment I hung desperately, the other ring of my wrist is gold. Bearing with the light of gold. When I return to my stumble, I'm remembering the words you told. I'm regretting not putting the pole higher. I think I quite like these cute little pole clips. Rather than this, I think it looks quite utility room, but you can see the washer dryer. To not see the washer dryer though, I'd have to have like the pole, I think above here. Hmm. drilled the only tip that you need for tiles I made this mistake and I had to use it watch a YouTube video is that you need some tape over it so that it can stick and not slide around and then you get the neatest Never underestimate yourself, ladies. Perfect though. And yes, I'm still in my pajamas. I'm gonna go and get showered and change now. I just woke up and was like, I need to know that I can do this. It's, what's the time now? Yeah, it's nine o'clock. I just was in panic, but, but now I know, now I know. Ooh. So my aim is to put another one up that it won't be as easily reachable, maybe at about here. Then I'm gonna put a picture up tie this and we'll get styling. 
I think if we want to put anything really heavy on these, I'd need a few more, but it's straight. And I really love these brackets. I got them off of Amazon because, especially with the white tile, and I plan on putting things in front of these beds, they kind of give the illusion of floating, but without the hard work. What does it look like? Oh, I'm pleased with that. I'm out of We have a utility room. It's done. Let me show you around. I'm absolutely thrilled. Quick was around. I did this with a pole in the end. It's really easy to get to the washer dryer here. And we also have this big space here. So I actually ordered this for the kitchen a while ago and it didn't fit. I think I might attach it onto here for the meantime so you can pull this out and I can access all of this. However, long term, we may think about putting an under counter freezer here. I'm not sure if that's a bit weird, but might be good for the meantime. Then we've got our gorgeous big workspace. Oh, I'm so thrilled about this. And it just creates so much storage, a really nice environment to be able to do the laundry. Um, so we've got some of our laundry bits here, dog food, which is gonna be so much easier. Um, and then cleaning cloths, color catches, so all of this is useful. This is all of um, Otto's grooming bit, so it's gonna be really easy to get all this. Dryables here, and then up here, this is just more storage and styling. I got some eucalyptus from the garden. So thrilled with it. I've got a few more pieces coming. I've got a um, hanger coming here and that going there, but let's talk about how much it cost. Now, of course, our labor kind of isn't free, but it is free. We're counting that as free. The paint was stuff that we already had. The worktop we had that was a mistake that all made, it was moisture resistant board that we actually didn't need. So it's really good that we used that and got it out of our storage space. Where we did spend a little bit of money was the um, pole with the curtain. So the brackets for either end were three pounds and the pole itself was 12 pounds. So that came to 15. And then annoyingly, I'm missing most of the Dunham one, but I can see the total was £38.80, but actually I never used the rings and the hooks, which I plan to return, so I need to find the rest of that receipt, which was £10 off, so that was £28. Then, which I haven't arrived yet, but really will help the utility room. This is the one that I was talking about that is gonna go over by the painting. It actually goes flat, so you see this bit, that slides up and the white bit goes down. That was $12.99. The scaffolding planks which we used for the shelves you would have seen were in our garden. I picked those up ages ago to do the table, outdoor table. I don't know if you guys remember that. We had a few spare, so again, it was quite good that we got those out of the way. And then I did have to purchase some brackets, and those are the ones that I went for, and they were $15.99. Over the radiator, the drying rack that I was talking about is this one here, so you can see it goes totally flat, and then you can pull it out um, and use it to dry some clothes. That was also $29.99. I did get some more like washing liquid and stuff, but that's in our general weekly thing. So that totals to £102. So actually, within my projects, we're saying £100 to £200. I'm so thrilled. 
honestly for that I am absolutely chuffed because this space uh, I already just want to spend all my time in here and I know <laughs> all my time you know you know when you do a new room it's really exciting and you just want to use it hopefully that stays because now it's going to be so much easier to do our laundry and also just like having a dog now being able to come in and get his things and his food and in here we never had a, like a surface space so that we could put his bowl down or anything like that so that is just so exciting what do you reckon was it worth it i think for us it totally was i hope you enjoyed coming along and i will see you guys in the next one bye